Hello, welcome to Midlands Today. The headlines tonight. Up to a thousand more jobs on the way for Coventry on the back of another multi-million pound investment in the city. It's the first time that we've really been able to invest in a brand new vehicle since the original taxis were developed many years ago. Good evening. Senior political figures were in the West Midlands today as two car manufacturers announced significant investment in the region. They were given a tour of the London taxi maker Geely, which is planning to build a new factory near Coventry, creating a thousand new jobs, while Jaguar Land Rover is spending £400 million upgrading its plant in Castle Bromwich. Here's our business correspondent, Peter Plisner. The Prime Minister and the Mayor of London learning how to build taxis in Coventry this morning. A visit timed to coincide with today's new factory announcement and news that it'll be used to develop a new hybrid taxi. I'm absolutely thrilled. It's great news for uh, the capital city, but I think it's great news for cities around Britain that will now have the benefit of the cleanest, greenest taxi, an iconic taxi anywhere in the world. Workers are also excited about yet more investment in a company that less than three years ago went bust. It's great for us, uh, great for the company, great for our future, basically, and for Coventry. There was always uh, a promise to invest, and they've made that promise good now. And at a press conference today, the company's new Chinese owners outlined what that promise involved. Later, its chairman told me why he'd chosen Coventry. For London Taxi, since day one, it was born and bred here in Coventry. So it has its unique and distinctive cultural features, together with its professionalism demonstrated by the entire workforce. Well, this is the site where the new factory will be, and Steve Business Park, already home to an advanced engineering centre and a customer care centre for the supermarket giant Sainsbury's. But now it'll be home to the London Taxi Company. They're spending £250 million on the new factory. It'll be 85,000 square feet in size, and at full capacity, it'll be able to produce 36,000 vehicles every year. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished in 2017, creating a thousand new jobs in addition to those already based in the city. Meanwhile, at Castle Bromwich in Birmingham, Jaguar Land Rover was showing off its new state-of-the-art aluminium body shop, the biggest investment the factory's ever seen. We want to take uh, leadership on lightweight uh, capability uh, for all of our products, so it makes absolute sense that we uh, put a new body shop into this facility. They're coming into halfway and showing just how lightweight aluminium can be, the latest Jaguar XF model during a recent publicity stunt. Further evidence that the Midlands is now leading the way when it comes to technology for reducing vehicle emissions. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today.